In the past few years, Major League Baseball has seen very two-sided free agency spending periods from MLB teams. Arguments have been made to form a salary cap to prevent teams from spending more than others. This conversation has been a hot topic with the Los Angeles Dodgers' high spending offseason this past winter. Money, it definitely helps, but it doesn't It doesn't buy championships. I mean, the Angels were able to afford Mike Trout and Shohei Otani at the same time, and they didn't win anything with them. Only four current MLB teams hold a projected payroll of over $200 million for 2024. On the other hand, four teams sit in the eight-digit figures in payroll, with the Oakland Athletics at the lowest, a $59 million tally. Knowing that the owners spend a lot of money, it shows that they care about their fans and want a good product on the field, compared to a team that's not spending enough like the Oakland A's. The argument can be made to minimize spending, though more spending is inclusive towards growing the game. In the past, the Major League Baseball Players Association has rejected the notion of a salary cap, remaining the only major American sport to not include a cap. Fans of the Los Angeles Angels can be described as victims of ownership lacking investment and willingness to spend, hence losing a star and two-way player Shohei Otani. Given that all 30 MLB teams are given the equal opportunity to pursue talent in the league, there is no excuse to investing in and improving a franchise. A salary floor would grow the game exponentially in creating more viewership for each MLB team. In Fullerton, California, Sergio Gonzalez, CSUF News.